I remember getting scared by my little sister. I was, uh, I was 13, she was 11. I was walking down the hallway one Sunday. Because honestly, that's where you'd find me on a Sunday, just down the hallway, right? <laughs> Where's Ali? He's down the hallway, right? I remember walking down the hallway, my sister jumped out and went, boo! And I went, right, game on, you little f <laughs> Shouldn't have done that to me. I was like, ah, did the eyes, freaked her out. I went upstairs, right, and I thought, I've got to get her back. Mum and Dad watching Blue Healers, first series, right? I said, uh, I said to my dad, I'm off to bed. He said, it's only eight o'clock, son. What are you going to do? Crack one off? Like that, right? <laughs> We're a close family. It's a Kiwi thing, right? He was doing that hide the willy thing. I'm a woman, I'm a woman. <laughs> seek help, dad, seek help. So I went downstairs and I thought I'd wait for my little sister, right? Because I knew that she had a bedside lamp next to her bed. Uh -huh, right? Where it should be, to be honest. Where's your bedside lamp? Oh, it's out in the garage, right? So I thought what I'll do, I'll hide and wait for her, right? Because I knew she had to do the freakiest thing every kid has to do. She had to turn the light off here. Remember this? Turn the light off. And then run to the bedside lamp. The scariest run you ever did. It was like, no monsters, everything's fine, no monsters. So I thought I'll just hide and wait for her underneath the bed, right? I'm underneath there for three hours waiting for the little shit. I thought I could crack one off, but... Uh, to be honest, you don't want to get caught doing that underneath your sister's bed. <laughs> Leads to therapy, you probably lose your family. <laughs> so I'm waiting, right? Finally, she's, I, I sort of kind of see her foot appear, right? She's got two. Wouldn't pick her on if she had one, right? <laughs> Learn to balance, <laughs> off, you know? You can hide, but you can't. Anyway, she's like this, right? She looks around, right? She's scared. She's 11 years of age. She turns the light. She's like, monsters, off. She's like, huh. she's got asthma, right? She's like, huh. I'm waiting like this. I'm kind of waiting. I thought this is going to be a right laugh, this. Here we go. She goes for the bedside lamp, right? This is her arm. Say, watch, here he is, right? She goes for it. I pounce, right? I pounce. Like this. That's the noise you hear. The next noise you hear is probably the equivalent noise of Godzilla getting fingered, basically. <laughs> It just goes, rawr, rawr. wildlife is just waking up and stuff like that. People are falling off their bikes, right? Rawr. I panic, I'm 13 years of age. I say to my sister, calm down, puberty's roaring through me. Calm down, it's me, Deborah, it's me. It's me, it's me, Deborah, it's me, it's me, it's me, it's me, it's me. She now thinks there's five people in the room. She's going, leave me alone, leave me alone, all of yous, all of yous. My dad hears everything. He comes running down, right? <laughs> Don't know why he ran like that. <laughs> he was just kneeing dwarfs on the way through. <laughs> he flicks the light on. This is where it gets weird, right? Well, we thought my sister wore pyjamas to bed. <laughs> she didn't. Thus became the tensest family moment we've ever had. Just me holding my naked sister's wrist, looking up. I know this looks terrible. You got every right to be angry. Did you take blue healers? No, they don't repeat it. Right, I'll go to bed and I just walk past him and in a beautiful dad way, he just whacked me with his cock on my head. Uh, he didn't. I just thought I wanted to say that on TV.